So how to gain muscle mass twice as fast as normal. So how can you gain muscle twice as fast than you normally could? Here at this channel, we train beginners and turn them into winners by actually getting their fitness results that they want. If you wanna see more videos like this from myself, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So the idea behind this video was to give you five huge tips that actually helped me gain muscle a lot faster than when I had no idea what I was doing at the beginning. So the first huge tip is doing quality reps. So how many times have you gone to the gym and you said, you know, we're gonna hit a chest day or arm day. And then you feel like you haven't even trained your chest or your arms. No, God, please, no. This is most probably because of the workout itself and the quality of reps that you're doing. You see, to build muscle, there is a lot of mind-muscle connection. And just going through the motions, someone could be doing the exact same exercise as you, say for like bicep curls, but they're just going through the motions. Where, whereas when I'm doing them, because I know how to do them properly with proper form, I'm actually thinking about squeezing the muscle, and usually it's a lot slower with a lot lighter weight to actually gain twice the amount of muscle compared to someone that may be throwing a lot of weight around and look cool, basically ego lifting. Leave your ego at the door and actually get some real gains. So there's two ways you can do this to improve the quality of the reps. Lower the weight and actually put more time under tension when you're doing, say, the bicep curl like I am now. Where you can increase the time under tension is just by literally adding a couple seconds on the down portion, adding a couple seconds on the up portion. Doesn't matter how much weight is in this arm. When you can do it really slow and you're squeezing, you're feeling the bicep actually getting used, then that will be a quality rep, that one quality rep. Focus on every single rep that you do. And then what I would say is when you're getting good at doing quality reps, then add on the weight. If you jump straight into heavy weight, you're more than likely to hurt your shoulder and probably tear a bicep instead of making your bicep look bigger. My second huge tip is eating the right amount of food to build muscle. So right now, do you feel like you're just kind of winging your diet and you just neck a protein shake after your workouts to make it feel like you're getting enough protein in you? If you think a protein shake after your workout every single time is gonna work, it, it most likely won't work if that's all you're relying on. So I will offer you a better suggestion on how you can actually gain more muscle is by every single meal that you eat, add a, a good portion of protein to that. So 20 grams or so every single meal you eat, not just the one after your workout. This will make sure that your body is getting plenty of protein to build muscle every time you break it down in the gym. And to make sure that you actually are building muscle, make sure that you are 100% in a state that your body can build muscle is being in a slight calorie surplus. So this means that you're keeping your body weight roughly the same weight every single week, or if not a little bit heavier. That will mean if you are getting it slightly heavier, could be fat, could be muscle, but odds are it will be muscle if you're really lifting heavy in the gym with quality reps. Which will lead me on to my third Third huge tip which is having the correct plan to build muscle how many of you right now are on a plan that's a strength plan or a CrossFit plan or a get you ready for a marathon plan none of these are focused on building muscle strength and muscle do kind of go hand in hand however you can have the strongest guy in the room and he won't be the biggest guy in terms of muscle but the body reacts differently to each set of training, to each training regime. Just look at the strongest man in the world. Does he look any different to the biggest bodybuilder in the world? Comment below if you think they're the same. How do you get the right plan? Well, it's easy. Look up a plan that builds muscle, that actually gives muscle growth and not strength marathon training or you know crossfit anything like that so this will have the optimized rep range that you need usually between 6 to 12 reps that's where you want to focus any lower it's more strength any higher it's more endurance this is a good indicator if you're on the right plan or not and if you pair this up with giving quality reps like I was talking about at the beginning and also eating the right amount of food 
then your gains will go through the roof and you will definitely double the amount of muscle gains you'll make than you would be usually without these tips that I'm giving you in this video. You can either find these plans online, just type in like a, a muscle building plan. I will be also very soon making my own plans for people that are looking to either build muscle or lose fat. I primarily focus on helping beginners getting into the fitness industry the correct way because there is a lot of BS out there. And if you're too lazy to look for a plan and you have no money to actually spend on a plan at the moment, you can actually use my free 28 day challenge. It shows you the workouts, it shows you the diet you can use every single day from day one to day 28. You can do it, it's completely free and trust me, you will see results. Because there's a lot of people that are just finishing the plan right now. They've showed me their results over the last two, three weeks doing it it's insane and the huge tip number four that i'll give you guys by the way if you're liking this so far make sure you hit the likes button down below this really helps out the channel the number four is use both isolation and compound movements for some reason it's so controversial for one person saying you need to have isolation and you need to have compound movements the difference basically means a isolation movement is focusing on one area of your body so a bicep curl, for example, for your biceps or a tricep extension for your triceps. Whereas a compound movement would be more like a squat, deadlift, bench press. These things are full body, well deadlift is full body for sure. Squats are basically whole lower body and your core. And a bench is basically whole upper body growth. And for some reason, people say you should use just one or the other. Using both of these at the same time, you can hit every single muscle and also you can focus on your weak points if you say your arms are weaker than the rest of your body you can use isolation exercises to cover your weak areas so don't feel like you're restricted to do one or the other best plan is incorporating both into them and the last huge tip i can share with you on how to double your muscle growth is to tweak your training or your training plan at least every two to three months how many of you right now feel like they have been training the same plan for over a year or almost a year now and feel like you may be plateauing like you're not gaining any more strength or you're just really struggling with motivation this is probably why the training plan is probably outdated for you right now and to get more gains you need to change the plan that you're currently doing because you're used to it I generally change my plan every two to three months and generally this is a good time as well for most people because one it's long enough for you to get some gains in that period doing that training cycle at that time that typical training program once you've changed it it will stop you or prevent you from having plateaus if you keep changing it every two to three months that's how you keep making gains now it took me personally one to two years of my training to realize that I was doing these mistakes and as soon as I started changing them I made faster gains than I've ever made in my life when I used to when I changed this especially when I started training people as well and seeing all they had to do is change a tiny tweaks just like these just tips I'm sharing with you now that really helped them see results a lot faster and a lot more prolonged instead of hitting plateaus and just not being happy with the results they're getting so I really hope these tips help you gain muscle twice as fast. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below. This really helps the channel grow and get to more people. Also, if you want to see more videos like this from myself on this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We are 99 strong, one away from three digits, you know? I cherish every single one of you guys to make sure that I listen, comment below and actually give you videos that actually benefit you as well as myself to help you train the best and safest way possible to get your results as fast as you can and be happy with adding fitness into your life. So with that being said, make sure to click one of these videos here to learn more about fitness and how I can help you with your journey into fitness. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.